Hello, super people. Let's go. We have a question today that is very likely to appear on the Bergen Academy's admission test. It's actually one of those questions that does frequently appear, a word problem involving units. We're going to answer this quickly. We're going to answer it easily, I hope. And we're also going to revise a couple of important hacks that we use to answer questions like this. We're going to revise something we call the unit hack. And we're going to revise something we call the one hack. So let's go super people. Now, word problems that involve units. What are units? Let's take a look. Apples cost $2 per pound. So dollars per pound. That's a unit. 15 apples cost $4. That's a unit. What fraction of a pound does an apple weigh? Now, I know two types of students when questions like this are involved. One type, students who just look at this and know exactly what they need to do. They're really good with word problems, super easy piece of cake, then just do what you want to do, what you know how to do it, if you know how to do it. But other students always look at this and they're confused. They don't know where to start. They really hate word problems that involve units. So here, two handy hacks. Let's take a look. Hack number one. Unit hack. What unit hack basically says is always write down what you have given in terms of units and what is required in terms of units. This will really help you find the step that you need to take next. So here, what is the unit that is given? Apples cost $2 per pound. So that's a unit. So unit number one, dollars per pound. What else is given? 15 apples cost $4. So the second unit I have is dollars. Okay, what is required? What fraction of a pound? So what is required is pounds. Okay, now I know that I need to find a relationship between pounds and dollars. How did I know? Because that's what's given. Pounds, dollars dollars and an answer that I need to find in pounds. So we need to find a relationship between pounds and dollars. That's number one. Okay, number two, always remember our unit hack or our one hack. Okay, one hack right here is super easy. All it says is when you have unit questions like the one we have here, find how much one is. What does that mean? Before we go any further, let me just tell you really quickly about our new course. We have three courses for the Bergen Academy's admission test. I just want to show you really quickly what they look like, and you guys can access these courses and preview them and even enroll if you want right away using the link in the description. So let's take a look, super people, super quickly. If you go to our website, gudabca.com, and you just click on the BCA test prep course, you'll be able to see that we have three courses right now. We have a math course, an essay course, and we also have a bundle that includes both the math and essay courses together. If you click on any one of these, you'll be able to see a brief overview of what the course um, has exactly what, what it covers. But more importantly than this brief overview is you can see the whole curriculum for the course. You can see every single lesson, just like I'm showing you right here. Click on this arrow and you'll see even more. You can see all the different lessons that we have, all the different practice that we have. You can also preview some of those lessons and videos, and some of them are really good, beneficial, and long for free before enrolling. So you can click on any one of those that have the word preview next to them so you know exactly what it looks like. Once you're ready, if you would like to enroll, just go down and click on enroll. You'll get 90 whole days of access to be able to cover the whole course. And that's it. If you're interested, follow the link in the description, people. Okay, let's get back to it. Find how much one whatever the question is asking you about costs or how much one of whatever I'm asking you about weighs or how much one of whatever I'm asking you about um, measures in length, for example. Always try to find how much one of whatever I'm asking you about is equal to. I'll give you an example from this question. Apples cost $2 per pound. 
15 apples cost $4. So the first thing I need to think about, one hack. I know that 15 apples equals $4. The first thing you need to do automatically is find out how much one apple equals or costs. Four over $15. That's it. So that's the first thing. Now, go write the relationship that we know we need to use using our unit hack, which is pounds and dollars. And just start with what you have. So given right here, I know that apples cost $2 per pound. Okay, so one pound, one, see, one hack, I already have one pound, gives me or equals $2. This is already given. Now I need a new relationship. I know that one apple costs four over $15. So here I have four over $15. What's four over $15? That is the cost of one apple. Correct? Correct. Now, what is missing here? We're going to call this X. What is X? X is pounds because it's under pounds. So it's how much one apple weighs. Weight of one apple. Okay? And this is what the question is asking me about. Now, all I need to do is just cross multiply. So I cross multiply. I have two times X equals four over 15 times one, which is four over 15. That means that X equals four over 15 divided by two. Remember, when we divide something by two, it's the same as saying times half. Okay, now I can cancel out the two down here with a two from here. So I'm left with X equals two over 15. Two over 15 what? Pounds, because in cross multiplication, remember everything here is in pounds. Everything here is in dollars. So X equals two over 15 pounds. And that is my answer right away. Easy peasy, easy peasy.